Hi everybody, I'm back with a card share and a thank you. I just want to say a big thank you to the people who are starting to subscribe to my channel and to make comments on my videos. I really, really appreciate it and it puts a smile on your face when somebody leaves a comment saying that they like the card you made or it's just, like I said, I just wanted to say thank you very, very much. I know I don't have very many subscribers and I'm not the most talented person out there, but this is a way to build friendship and get that build that crafty family that so many of us have I and it, I experienced that before with my old YouTube channel and um, I was missing it so here we go again with another channel anyways I um, always like to use up my scraps and I've been working on some mini albums and junk journals and whatnot so I want to use the scraps up so I decided to make some cards. I also have a huge tote full of stickers. So I picked out a package of stickers, which were these butterflies, and I made cards to use the stickers up. This one I just used some craft colored cardstock, and this green paper is from the Recollections Habitat paper collection. I really like it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's like corrugated almost. And I just distressed the edges with frayed burlap and layered a couple pieces up on pop dots, stuck the butterfly on there, and when I'll use this card, I'll stamp a sentiment in there depending on what I need, thank you card or whatever. Whoops. So I made that one. And of course I was watching Miss Peggy, JP Peggy 2 here on YouTube, and she did a tutorial on how to make a flip card. So I made another flip card. I had made quite a few of them but I've sent them out already I suppose I should have maybe filmed those but anyways thank you to JP Peggy 2 for such an easy tutorial to follow so that's that one and this is a crisscross card I think they call it I this was a video that I've had in my favorites list for a long time from Split Coast Stampers and it just has a tag. Eventually I'll stamp a sentiment and write a message on the back of it. So that's that one. And the last one was this one. I used a, a doily cutout from my lifestyle crafts or quick cuts or whatever you call it that I got on eBay. Another one of the butterfly stickers. Ooh, that's pretty funky looking. Um, this is just some lace trim that I tucked behind this piece of sparkly ribbon that I picked up at the dollar store. It's actually really funky. It's like Velcro. So, and then, like I said, I left it blank on the inside. I'll eventually stamp a sentiment and write a message in there depending on what kind of card I need. So, those are my cards using up my stickers and scraps. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe if you wish. And happy scrapping.